The Detroit Pistons lose to the Brooklyn Nets 101 to 100, and Spencer Dinwiddie gets revenge. Harris gets it to Dinwiddie. Three seconds, two seconds, steps, fires. Oh, it's good! Spencer Dinwiddie buries it with .9 on the clock. No timeouts remaining for Detroit. Toss it in the air. Knocked away! Spencer Dinwiddie. That's a game winner. The former Piston has burned Detroit. 101 to 100. Spencer Dinwiddie balled out, helped his team win the game. Props to him. Um, we see a star in the making with Spencer Dinwiddie. Flat out. As for the Detroit Pistons, you lose. Again, at home, I mean, to one of the worst, to the one of the worst teams in the league, and I mean, I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about Brooklyn. They're in a rebuilding stage, but this was a must-win game, and it was at home. How do you go down ten points in the first quarter at home? That's uncalled for, big time. I don't care. I mean, hey, Stanley Johnson had 18 points off the bench. Tobias Harris, consistent, balled out, had 20 points. But other than that, you really you really didn't get much out of this game from a lot of people. Bikes didn't even play. Uh, it was We saw a lot of Langston Galloway. But, I mean, you drop a game, the Pistons are looking like a mediocre team. Mediocre team. What are we going to do? We have to change it up now. Do something with the coaching staff. Do something with some of these players. But I can keep saying this stuff all day. All day. And I'll be saying the same thing. The Pistons need to do something. ASAP. But um, I really want to talk about Spencer Dinwiddie. The Pistons drafted him. Stan Van Gundy drafted Spencer Dinwiddie. And then totally disrespected that man. I don't know if he didn't like him as a player or a person. But flat out just... Traded him for nothing to the Bulls. The Bulls then releases him. Brooklyn picks him up. And then there you go. You see right there a star to make. And this is Spencer Dinwiddie's second game winner. The dude can shoot the ball like crazy. He just didn't get an opportunity to play in Detroit. And he should have. Back in, I want to say, in 2015, when uh, the Pistons were playing the Cavs in the first round of the playoffs... We had Steve Blake as a backup point guard for Reggie Jackson. And everybody on the Cavaliers is saying, hey, if Steve Blake is guarding me, we're going to take advantage of it. He's literally, he at the time, was, you know, 40, 70 years old and one of the worst defenders as a point guard in the league. And he was getting ex exposed, especially by Kyrie Irving. Well, you had Spencer Dinwiddie that you could have played 6'6 six, six with a long wingspan. Hey, at the time, hey, if, if, if he's not producing like that, you could, you could have still put him in for de uh, defensive purposes. But no, Stan Van Gundy decided not to. Like, period. The way that Stan Van Gundy developed players as of right now has been horrible. Flat out horrible. You know? And I would hate to see a guy like Henry Ellison, a guy that has a lot of potential in this league, but does not get any minutes at all i would hate to see him get traded and the next you know he becomes a star on another team only because he's not being utilized and developed the right way so i mean that's just some of my frustrations but the pistons have not just Stan Van gundy but the pistons have a history of getting rid of players before they develop them spencer dinwiddie who was drafted in the second round by the pistons Stan Van gundy got rid of him though it has everybody forgot this at one point, we had Aaron Aflalo. Remember him? Look what happened with him. He became a legit, uh, a legit NBA player in the league. Brandon Knight, we didn't give him enough ch a, a, a chance, and then he ended up getting paid by the Suns around seventy million. I'm just saying, guys. Like, and this is it's more to it than just that. I mean, we had other players that we could have kept, um, and then we just got rid of them. Period. So something needs to change. You heard it from me. This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out. Peace.